Hey, Matt Holmes here from V8 Reader Academy and in today's tutorial I want to show you how to create this fly-through text animation in Adobe After Effects. So to start with, um, make sure you've got a video clip in the background. Um, I've just got this one here that I filmed on a recent project, um, so I'm just using that clip for now. So what I'll do is I will start again here. So I'm going to delete this text layer here. So you should just have your video clip in your timeline now in After Effects. And then what we need to do is add a text layer. So we can do that by right clicking down here and press new and text. And then we can just type our text in. So I'm just going to type V8. Cool. OK. And then what we need to do is center that text. So click on your text layer down here in your timeline again and then come over to your align tools and you can press this one here to align it um, horizontally and this one here to align it vertically then that should be centered now so what we need to do next is make sure the anchor point is in the center of our text so we can tap on the y key on our keyboard and then we can tap on the tap and hold on the command or control key if you want to Windows computer and we're just going to drag this into the center and then we'll let go. So that's now the anchor point in the center of our text. It's worth mentioning actually that you need to make sure your text is bold and big so that we can actually see the video through our text. So now we're going to set our text so that we can actually see our video through the text itself. So come down to your timeline and tap on the toggle switches modes. And you should now see this blend mode option here. So at the, at the moment we've got set to normal. So we're going to click on that and we want to change it to stencil alpha. And now we can see our video through our text. If your text doesn't look like this, then just check that your transparency grid is turned off. So you can do that on this little toggle here. We've got toggle transparency grid. If I turn that on, you'll see that it looks like that, which yours might look like if this option is turned on. So just make sure that's turned off and it should look something like this. So now we need to animate our text. So let's select our text layer in the timeline. And what we need to do first is tap on the S key for scale. So we'll tap scale. Um, and now we need to set the first keyframe. So make sure that your timeline indicator here is right at the beginning at zero. And tap the little stopwatch here. And that's going to set a keyframe for us. Now we need to set another keyframe for position. So if we just tap P, that's going to bring up the position keyframe. And again, we'll tap the stopwatch to put a keyframe in here. Now, if you tap U twice, you'll see the keyframes that are associated with this layer. So we've got position and scale keyframes. So now we need to move our timeline indicator along to let's say about three seconds and we're going to increase the size of the text to reveal the video below it. So first of all we'll increase the scale so we're going to drag this up but as you can see we're coming right into the center of the text here into the middle which we don't want so we're going to have to move the text to reveal the video below it. So we'll tap on the V key on your keyboard to turn the move tool on and then we're just going to drag the text around and we're going to scale it up again. You just want to make sure that you can't see any of the orange or whatever color you've got set um, at the edges of your frame. So keep going up. Uh, almost there, touch more. There we go. Now we can see the full video. So if I just play this through quickly, we've got that sort of effect. Now what you might want to do is just ease in the movement of the text at the beginning and the end. So what we'll do now is we'll just pause that and we'll select these two keyframes here just by dragging around them and we'll right click and go down to keyframe assistant and then we'll check on the easy ease option here. That's going to create two easy ease in keyframes that are gently going to animate in. And at the end, we will select these two keyframes, right click again, 
keyframe assistant and we'll select easy ease out this time so that it will gently slow down at the end and we'll just run that through there we go that's looking better now what we can also do is add a bit of a motion blur to the text so we'll just pause the video again there and we'll click on our text layer and we'll click on the toggle switches modes button again down the bottom and we'll click on the motion blur box here tap on that but also make sure that your motion blur option is turned on here otherwise the motion blur isn't going to show so we'll just watch that through again and as you can see we've got a little bit of motion blur going on there which just adds to the effect and finally if you wanted to change the color of the solid so as as you can see i've got, I've got orange but if you wanted to change the colour of that to blue or red or whatever colour you wanted, what you can do is just come up to composition at the top here and tap on composition settings. Now here we can set the background colour. So if we choose, click on that and we'll choose a blue or a green, any colour you want. You can just choose that, press OK, press OK and now you've got a green solid background. So that's a pretty simple and quick way to create fly through text in Adobe After Effects. If you have any questions about this effect, leave them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you. I love helping you guys out. If you like this video, I'd be really grateful if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.